everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the diagonal shell stitch, which is the stitch that you see here. Now similar to, this stitch is similar to the tulip stitch, which you can also find here on my YouTube channel. It uh, is comprised of these double crochet clusters going in one direction and then these shell stitches made up of four double crochets going in the other. Uh, it's a very simple stitch to work once you get a hang of the pattern. It looks the same on both sides. It's fairly flexible. It's not a stiff fabric at, at all. Um, so it gives you this nice pretty almost lacy uh, textured look. So this is the stitch we're going to work on today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to my channel, I invite you to subscribe and uh, check out some of the other videos that are here. You can check out the tulip stitch as well as there's numerous patterns. And then of course, this channel is updated weekly on Sundays with free stitch tutorials. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to grab my hook and my yarn and we'll get started. For our tutorial today, I'm going to be using the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarn Inspirations, as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I will provide links for you in the video description regarding both of these items. For our stitch, the diagonal shell stitch, we're going to start by making a chain with a multiple of four stitches plus two. So start by making your slip knot and then chain a multiple of four stitches plus two. There's 16, which is my multiple of four. I think I'll just add two more for 18 chains. You're then going to start by working a shell stitch into the second chain from your hook. To work your shell stitch, you are going to begin by single crocheting, so single crochet into that second chain from your hook, chain three, and then work four double crochet stitches all into the same chain. So into the same chain where my single crochet is, work four double crochet stitches. There's one, two, three, and four. Then you're going to skip the next three chains. So one, two, three, and shell into the next. So single crochet, chain three, and work four double crochets all into that same stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next three chains, one, two, three, and shell into the next stitch. <laughs> I keep missing my yarn. Repeat that all the way across. When you come to your final four chains, you're going to skip the next three and then work a final single crochet into the last chain. You're then at the end of your first row. For row three, you're going to chain three and turn your work. Your chain three will count as a double crochet stitch. You're then going to skip 
that first stitch, the single crochet where your stitch is worked out of, and you're going to skip the next double crochet and work a double crochet two together over the next two stitches. For your double uh, crochet two together, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You'll have two loops on your hook. Then yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops. When you have three loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and draw through all three. Next, chain three and single crochet into the top. You're going to, sorry, skip the next double crochet and single crochet into the top of your chain three of the shell below. Next, you're going to repeat. Skip the next double crochet and double crochet two together over the next two stitches. Chain three and single crochet into the top of the chain three of that shell. And the next one, double crochet two together chain three, skip the next double crochet and single crochet into the top of your chain three. Repeat that all the way across. When you come to your final shell, you're going to work that chain three, single crochet into the top of the chain three of that shell below and that's where you'll finish your row two. Ne uh, next row, row three, you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work another row of shell stitches. You're going to single crochet into that first stitch, chain three, this is your first shell, work four double crochets into the same stitch as your single crochet. You're going to skip that chain three, skip the next stitch, which is your double crochet two together, and into the next single crochet, you're going to single crochet and work another shell stitch. Single crochet, chain three, and work four double crochets all in the same stitch. And you're going to repeat that across. Skip the chain three, skip the double crochet two together, work a shell into that next single crochet. When you come to your final shell, you're simply going to skip that chain three, skip the double crochet two together, single crochet into that top of that chain three, and that is the end of your row three. Now for the remainder of the pattern, you're simply going to repeat your row two, which is that double crochet two together row, and that row three. So you'll start by chaining three, turn your work, and work your double crochet two together into the uh, second and third double crochets of the shell below. Chain three, 
skip the next double crochet, single crochet into the top of your chain three. So that's your row two, and then your row three of shell stitches. And that's all there is to working this pattern. You're going to continue working it for as long as you would like, and, uh, and then fasten off. So thank you so much for joining me on this stitch tutorial on how to work the diagonal shell stitch. Until next time, happy crocheting!